I'm going to demonstrate how to clean an artichoke. Uh, there are various varieties out there. There are baby artichokes, uh, medium sized artichokes, and then these would be two of the larger size artichokes. Cleaning technique is the same uh, regardless of the size that you purchase. This is an artichoke from Bear Creek Floral Farms out on the northern Oregon coast. Uh, it's the variety that they specialize in and they do them in various sizes. And this is what you might see more typically around the United States, uh, globe artichoke from uh, California, Salinas Valley area. So we're gonna focus on this uh, Italian red artichoke as far as cleaning technique goes. Um, the stem is sometimes disregarded, it depends. If you're going to just steam the artichoke, so you obviously need a flat surface, so you would just cut it right there, and then you would cut the top off, rub it with just a little bit of a lemon juice, and then it would go into a steamer pot and cook for 20 or 25 minutes until it's soft and until you can start to just pull the leaves uh, off. Uh, if you're going to poach it, or you're going to grill it, or something of that nature, you want to break it down a little bit farther. So we'll get into the cleaning technique with that. And we want to save part of that stem if we can, and it depends what it looks like. Obviously, if you look at the uh, extended end, it's a thistle plant. It's got lots of roughage in there, lots of fiber. As you go up uh, to the end that's closer to the actual artichoke, it's a little more on the tender side. So you can save, save part of that, or you can, or you can take it off. Sometimes I just poach this off and, and eat it uh, as is. So it depends, then you trim it down a little bit or you might leave it on. The key with the artichokes is that they're so well protected once you begin to expose the inner flesh, uh, they begin to oxidate rather quickly. So you always wanna apply a little bit of lemon juice and the absorbic acid to prevent that process a little bit. Then you can always drop them in a little bit of water and let them sit in there also. And then the next step in getting this into what we're gonna call four quarters. So there you might just take the top off and steam it as is. I think it's a great way to eat our chokes, a little melted butter, a little bit of garlic mayonnaise, and you're all set. But then the next step would be to actually take part of the top of this off. Not absolutely essential, but most of this on the top, it's not really an edible part. So you might just uh, disregard that. Take a look at the outer leaves. Uh, you might wanna trim them up just a little bit more. And then at this point, if you're going to poach it or braise it as we do in some of the recipes uh, on the website, you might take it into quarter pieces. It's beautiful. Inside of this artichoke, beginning to expose the choke on the inside. And then it's your call in terms of how much you want. Obviously this is the more edible part that you would eat if it was steamed, but if you're just going to braise it, you may peel this down to get really down to the tender portions of the leaves. So there can be a low yield on an artichoke actually, so that's something to think about depending on where you're gonna end up with it. So I take some of those darker pieces off. If I'm gonna poach it in a court bouillon or a, just a salted water li li liquid, which is perfectly fine, uh, I just leave the choke in. It's much, it's, it protects it, doesn't start to oxidize, and it's much easier to take this out once it's been softened and cooked. So I leave it in there as a protector and it just comes right out with a spoon uh, once you're done with it. So again, we've exposed the inner flesh. We're gonna rub it with some lemon. And if you're gonna work kind of slowly and take your time, then I, I recommend just letting, holding them in a little bit of water. Uh, one of the things that I think in order to try and retain and keep some of this lovely um, light color on the inside of the artichoke is to have your cooking liquid already going while you're doing this. So you get that, you can see on the website, a little bit of court bouillon, or as I said, salted water. Just get that up and going. So when you get through this process, if you're just cleaning two or three of the artichokes, you can drop them. You can just rub them with the lemon juice, just like this. And then they're ready to drop uh, into the boiling or simmering water that's been flavored. So once again, take a look at the outer leaves, decide how tender you want the artichoke to be. Maybe grabbing the paring knife again, taking it down a little bit more. This is what you might call restaurant style where it gets pretty, uh, pretty taken down. And there really isn't much you can do with these outer leaves that are left over, unfortunately. They don't make a great stock. Uh, they can't be cooked down too much. They, if they get pureed, they're a little bit on the thistly, uh, kind of a fibrous side, if you will. So this is really what you're focusing on is the artichoke heart. And then again, they just go into the water and so on. So poach them, enjoy them, toss them with a the vinaigrette, make a little more mayonnaise, and you've done this work, and then it's just a little bit less work when you get to the point where you're ready to eat the artichoke. So if you just do two or three, it should only take you a few minutes, and then again, you're almost ready to go uh, into the water, or you can hold them. 
There you go.